The desert wood rat, Neotoma lepida, is a species of pack rat native to desert regions of western North America. Description Desert wood rats are relatively small for pack rats, measuring 28 to 39 centimeters, 11 to 15 in, in length, including the 12 to 20 centimeters, 4.7 to 7.9 in, tail. They weigh from 122 to 350 grams, 4.3 to 12.3 ounces, with males being larger than females. Their coloring varies between individuals, and can be anything from pale gray to cinnamon to near black. Regardless of the color on the rest of the body, however, the animal's underparts and feet are always white, while the otherwise pale fur on the throat region is gray at its base. The tail is distinctly bicolored, and has more hair, and fewer visible scales, than the tails of brown rats. Desert wood rats have a narrow snout, long whiskers, and relatively long ears that are almost the length of the hind feet. Distribution and Habitat Desert wood rats range from southeastern Oregon and southwestern Idaho, south through Nevada and western Utah to California in the U.S and Baja California and extreme northwestern Sonora in Mexico. They are generally found in sagebrush scrub areas, in chaparral, and in deserts and rocky slopes with scattered cactus, yucca, pine, juniper, and other low vegetation, at elevations up to 2,900 meters 9, feet. They are most abundant in rocky areas with numerous crevices or rock piles in which they can seek shelter from predators. 23 subspecies are recognized, many of them restricted to small islands in the Gulf of California. Biology They feed on bins and leaves of mesquite, on juniper, and on parts of available cacti, apparently without getting injured by the spines. They also eat creosote bushes, thistles ephedra, mustard plants, sagebrush, and buckwheat. They will also eat other green vegetation, seeds, fruits, acorns, and pine nuts. In desert habitats, they are highly dependent upon prickly pear cacti for water balance, although they can be sustained on creosote year-round. Although they are capable of eating food containing high levels of resins and oxalic acid, such as the leaves of creosote bushes. These affect their water balance and limit their ability to eat other foods, limiting the growth of the wood rat's population in areas where such plants are common. Predators include snakes, owls, hawks, coyotes, and other carnivorous mammals. They are also commonly parasitized by botfly larvae. Desert wood rats breed in the spring and summer and give birth to litters of up to five young after a gestation period of 30 to 36 days. The young weigh about 10 grams, 0.35 ounces, at birth, and are blind, with only the tips of their hairs visible. Their eyes open after about 10 days. The teeth of newborn desert wood rats are initially splayed apart, creating a hexagonal opening between them with which they clamp themselves to their mother's teeth so firmly that they are difficult to separate. The teeth achieve their normal shape after about 12 days, but the young are not completely weaned until around 4 weeks of age. They live up to 5 years in captivity. Mm -hmm.